Hi. Good morning. Oh, good morning. Hey everyone. Um, so very different video. It's very early in the morning. I have tiny sleepy eyes, but I'm gonna get a tattoo today. The entire day, chest piece. So I was thinking about making it in a more of a like extensive vlog, but then I was like, what do I show? But then I realized as I was about to leave that I could show the stuff that I pack and then I can show a bit of the day itself, aftercare and everything. So very nervous. <laughs> I'm nervous for today because I have my arms tattooed, but I've only had this done on my chest, so only a tiny piece. And today we're gonna do everything. So first off, clothing prep. I'm wearing a tank top that I can like undress a little bit. <laughs> everything needs to be accessible for the tattoo artist. So wear something that doesn't matter if it gets dirty. You're gonna get some ink on it. That's why I'm wearing black. Then this is one of my comfiest shirts. Uh, but again, I don't really care if it gets dirty and it's really loose, which is nice because I'm I get, I'm really sensitive when it comes to tattoos. My skin is gonna hurt for a while. So this is like a nice, easy shirt. You can just like put it over your shoulders. You don't really have to like wriggle yourself into it. Very comfy pants on. Everything needs to be comfy because tattooing is gonna hurt. <laughs> so here are my comfy clothes. Then my bag. I have my laptop with me because I don't have my video ready yet for today, so hopefully I can check in with it later and schedule it when it's done. I have a big bottle of water with electrolytes in it, so I stay hydrated. I got a couple snacks, I need some energy. I have a book to read with me, a mask and a backup mask, hand sanitizer, tissues for my drippy nose, that's about it. They usually offer like tea or coffee. You don't really have to bring food, but definitely Count on not getting anything and then bring your own little snacks. Getting a tattoo is very tiring, <laughs> especially if you get a big one. Like I'm getting this entire bit done today, or at least we're planning to. So let's see how far we get in an entire day, but it's gonna be pretty tiring. And I think by the time it's done, I'm gonna be completely exhausted, but I'm excited. <laughs> let's see what I get. So shiny. <laughs> I always like matte my forehead so I forget how shiny it is when I don't do it. <laughs> I mean, that's not all that shiny. Ta da! It's super shiny right now because I put the hustle butter on. See how shiny it is? Um, I should grab it actually. I should show you guys the, the cream I use for that. One sec. Oh, look at my abs. Damn. Oh. Strong lady. Damn. <laughs> okay. But yeah, the cream I, I use right now is Hustle Butter. Hustle Butter Deluxe. Yeah, Deluxe. It makes it super shiny, but it's so nice because it's like a deeply hydrating... Basically, it's like a really bad sunburn. It's like an open wound right now. Shea butter, coconut oil, seed butter, a ton of different butters. This is the stuff. If you ever get a tattoo, buy this. I made one big mistake yesterday. I showed you guys that I had my bag ready and I didn't even think about the fact that a backpack, like it went right over these bits. I wanted to walk home, but I just couldn't wear the backpack. So I had to like put my thumb under the straps. So I had the backpack like away from my shoulders and then going back home and I was just like shaking. I was so tired. <laughs> it took a lot out of me. It was much harder than I thought it would be. Especially like, I wanted to get the leaf colored. It was kind of like a last minute thought. I wanted the cat on my chest, right? 
and I wanted it on this side, but I wasn't sure how it would fit and how it would work best. It's like a classic pose, but he's turned so that it makes it look more like he's on his back and he's like playing with the leaf. So I, we put like one little foot there, so it's like he's kicking it. That turned out really, really well. I really like it. And like his coat is red. So this red and green again is like the color I've been using everywhere. So I, I it's mostly, oh, it looks so good. It's mostly black ink, but you can see I have some red there and then I have the fish. That green is this leaf's green. So that's the same green we used. And then you see these like little dancing guys I have. This little dancing dude has a little parasol. He goes together with this. So they're dancing and now they have a musician. So they all go together. I wanted to get the long neck lady, Dokurokubi, as well. But it didn't really fit. This is like great. I love how this worked out together and like how it lines up with the sleeve so well. We were gonna put Long Neck Lady's face here. She's like smoking a pipe, it was really cool. And then her neck was like super long and it would like loop here and then keep going. But then when he drew it on, it's like I was in the drawing process, like he was about to tattoo me and he drew the loop and I looked at it in the mirror and I was like, that's not quite it. And then I was like, well, he goes with the other skeleton. So I was like, maybe we should give him like a parasol to sit by or something. Then he he drew one on the spot or like from an existing, like with an existing umbrella as a reference, but I thought it was a little bit too flat when he put it on my chest. I was like, I kind of want it to be a bit more closed and then we can fit it like under this corner. Now I'm super, super, super happy with it. It looks so good. Excuse the shine, but yeah, it's it's a fresh wound. It hurts. <laughs> I'm hurting. <laughs> I couldn't even stream today. I was like, there's no way I can sit in this chair for that long and not be in pain. I'm basically just walking around the house like this. Like I can't even have anything strap wise on because it's just too painful if anything touches it. Putting the hustle butter on, it took like half an hour for the pain to like subside again. And at least now it's nice. It's all nourished and shiny and not screaming at me anymore. But yeah, I'm very happy with it. I think especially with my other tattoos, I was planning to like fill it all in with waves as well, like with the rest of my arms. But I think for now, this is good. With how painful it was, I think I need like a couple months break before I uh, want to do more, at least. Do you guys like it? Do you like the colors? Very happy with how it came out. <sighs> <laughs> but yeah, it looks pretty cool. I'm really, I'm really happy with it. I'm gonna take it easy because I'm just exhausted. Well, it didn't help that it coincided with um, taking BB to the vet for his booster. He had his yearly checkup, and he gets very nervous when he ha when he leaves the house. So it was very stressful. <laughs> but yeah, I hope you guys like this little vlog, um, following along with the tattoos, and thanks for watching. Leave a like if you enjoyed it.